Mike can't do it, who can? Yeah, you're right. If Mike can't, no one can. You watched. The team looked a mess. We all saw it. They couldn't capitalize even when things went their way. Four interceptions. They scored three points off those four picks. Here's Mike Polk Jr. Here's his unique take on the game and the problems facing this Browns team. Before I criticize the Browns in that game we saw yesterday, in the spirit of fairness, I first want to acknowledge that Coach Stefanski and Baker are the best thing to happen to my football team in a very long time. That said, it should also be noted that it doesn't take very much at all to be the best thing that happened to our football team in a very long time. Coach Stefanski, that just means that you're an improvement over Freddie Kitchens and Hugh Jackson. Baker, you're a breath of fresh air after having to watch Deshaun Kaiser, Charlie Fry, and two different McCowns. What I'm saying is the bar wasn't very high to begin with. But last year, you guys smashed through those expectations. We looked confident, and we always looked like we at least deserved to be there. Boy, what a difference a year makes. Getting called for 12 men on the field after a timeout? What was that? Teams have adjusted to us. We've caught some bad breaks, but that's football. It's about how a team reacts to those setbacks that determine success. And I gotta tell you, we're not reacting very well right now. All I'm asking is that we be honest. Can we just stop pretending like everything's fine, Browns? There's obviously something fundamentally wrong with this team, and it starts with Baker. Easy, Baker bros. Retract your cyber claws. I'm not saying your favorite non-family member isn't good. I'm saying Baker isn't okay physically regardless of how badly the Browns want to pretend that he is. He's got a bum shoulder, a bad heel, a pulled groin, and a knee injury. But other than that, he's in great shape. And to be clear, we're not mad at Baker for being injured, but stop getting defensive and trying to downplay it by acting like he's fine. We can clearly see that he's not. Don't insult us. Yes, he can still walk, and he still has function in all of his limbs. That doesn't mean he should be out there. And of course, it's not all his fault that he can't be at his best right now. The receivers are dropping passes. The run game couldn't get anything going yesterday. And early in yesterday's matchup, we lost one of our best offensive linemen for the year and had to replace him once again with a guy named Blake. Blake and... Now, the defense looked great and snagged four interceptions, so Browns fans can't blame them or defensive coordinator Joe Woods for this loss. So you're off the hook this week, Joe, but don't get too comfortable. If the D slips again next game, we'll totally forget about the success and go right back to complaining about you. I don't make the rules. So how does a team get four interceptions, some in excellent field position, and only convert that into three total points? Easy. The Ravens simply showed no respect for Baker Mayfield in the Browns passing game. Baltimore just loaded up the line of scrimmage to shut down the run and just dared the Browns to throw. And it sure worked great. It was almost like they knew we were playing an injured quarterback with a bum shoulder and limited mobility and took advantage of that. Baker shouldn't have played last week against the terrible Lions, but he started anyways instead of our highly compensated, highly competent, if unremarkable backup quarterback who had already won one game this year against a team better than the Lions. The Browns squeaked out a win, Baker took some more physical abuse, and here we are. And now we have about two weeks to dwell on this loss and hope that the Browns remember how to be the team that they were last year, and also that our quarterback somehow miraculously heals like the Wolverine before we have to face these insufferable wrath birds yet again, this time at home. And for the life of me, I don't know why, but I still somehow have faith that they can figure this all out and end the season on a hopeful upswing. But I've been to some dark places, so probably don't go by me. As before and as always, go Browns.